On this Paraiso Realty property tour, we're in the mountains of central Puerto Rico, near the city of Cadie. We're on the edge of the Bosque de Pinos, which in English is the pine forest. Today's property is a multifamily unit located near the forest on a secluded cul-de-sac. It's surrounded by lush vegetation with amazing views. This property is great for those of you that want solitude and perhaps even create your own business. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Pine Forest Compound on the drive up here. Uh, at one point on the road, not too far away from the house, I could actually see the, the, the Caribbean Ocean to the north of Puerto Rico and to the south. So it gives you a sense we really are in the middle of Puerto Rico and, and up here in the hills. Uh, we're going to go upstairs first, the top floor. There's uh, three units here. Uh, there you can see the garage and the entrance. These stairs go to the top floor, one of three units. Uh, it's about 1,900 square feet up here. Uh, 1,900 square feet on this top floor and the middle floor and the first floor, I think, is about 400 square feet. What's most attractive about this property really is the view and the valley and its location. Uh, it's very quiet here. You can barely see any other houses around, so you can imagine at night the stargazing here is spectacular. During the day, it's very quiet. Uh, we're at the end of a cul-de-sac, so anybody coming down here is coming to visit you, or they're very, very lost. Uh, there's the view. There's a creek down below, um, some walking paths that kind of get you down there. I think they need to be maintained, uh, but I've seen some... Um, some raptors flying around, a lot of songbirds. You can see all the fruit trees here. This used to be a farm 30, 40 years ago. This was all a farm. So there was tobacco and bananas and plantains and uh, a lot of fruit trees and, you know, very diverse crop. Farmers back then uh, had a very diverse crop. Uh, they didn't focus on one uh, particular crop at all. They're very diverse, uh, chicken, the cattle and stuff like that. You can see just nice open space. Really feel like you're living this sane life up here in the hills where it's very quiet. Uh, I get to do a lot of gardening. You can see here there's uh, some mango trees and, and, and breadfruit trees <clears throat> and some uh, still some plantains and bananas and mandarin and other fruit trees as well. Uh, up here it's very, uh, it's temperature wise it's pretty cool, uh, very temperate, uh, very moist. So gardening up here is spectacular. So let's go uh, again with the top floor. Let's go inside and check out the first unit. This leads us right into the uh, living room. The whole structure is concrete, concrete floors, walls, and ceiling, uh, tiled throughout. So we've got a good, spe good sized living room here with a uh, TV and sofa there. Uh, there's an arch right there. Everybody loves arches, and this house certainly has a few of them. Nice architectural feature that everybody seems to love in Puerto Rico. Uh, there's a dining room. A table right there that um, seats six, so good sized dining room, great place for entertaining. And the dining room is uh, right next to the kitchen. Again, there's the arch that leads back into the living room. And the kitchen itself is actually very, um, very usable. Uh, obviously, it's not the most up to date kitchen, but it's very pragmatic, very usable, very functional. Uh, it's very clean. The, the folks that, that built and maintained this house do an, an incredible job. It's uh, in great shape. And there you can see electric, electric stove, so if that needs to be replaced at any time, it just slides out, pop a new one in. Got a microwave, or a microwave here on the right, there's a fan on the left. Very functional, double sink, uh, plenty of counter space, both for food and pots and pans and whatever utensils you have. Uh, good size refrigerator there, looks like a built-in ice maker and uh, water dispenser. So the kitchen is um, definitely very usable, very pragmatic. From the kitchen, there's a hallway that leads down to the back of this floor. This is a uh, two bedroom, two bath on this floor. And here's the first of uh, two bathrooms. This is a full bath. Uh, there's your um, sink and cabinets, the mirror, the toilet. There's tile throughout the wall, uh, tile along the floor. And this has a, uh, a full shower. Same thing, tile floor, tiled uh, walls. So that's bathroom number one. Very clean, very functional. Probably uh, five by eight size, I'm guessing. Uh, there's the hall. There's the hall that lets back um, to where we came in. Here's bedroom number one. 
I'm guessing that's probably a full or a queen size bed. Uh, there's two dressers in here, one window. This uh, window faces out over the valley, and uh, ceiling fan. Uh, great, uh, great size closet. I'm not going to find air conditioning up here in the hills. Um, in January, February at night, the temperature can get down to the the mid 50s, low 60s. So. Great sleeping weather up here. Really, no need for air conditioning. There's always a good breeze flowing through here. So, life up here in the uh, in the hills, um, it's n not so reliant on air conditioning like some of the other lowlands of, uh, of Puerto Rico. Off the hallway here is kind of a little open space, very flexible use space. Could be an office, could be set up in another living room, media room. Uh, it's not closed off like a separate bedroom or anything. It's kind of open into the hallway, so it's a very flexible use. Imagine if you have kids, perhaps that becomes a playroom. Uh, and in the back of the uh, unit here, back to the, of this floor, we have two bedrooms. This bedroom here on the back left, I think of all the bedrooms on the property, this is the, probably the brightest, um, the brightest as far as light is concerned. Again, it's got probably a twin, twin or full size, slash queen size bed. Uh, good closet, a couple of dressers here. Um, I think in I, some of these rooms, I would probably not need two dressers. I think you could put a, a desk or a sitting area in lieu of one of them. But either way, good size bedroom, probably about uh, 10 by 12. Across the hallway in the back right, uh, this is the primary bedroom. Uh, that bed is high, it's not an optical illusion, it's not a low ce ceiling, it's actually a high bed. Uh, probably a king size bed. And what's nice about this bedroom is you actually have uh, sliding glass doors that lead back out onto that uh, terrace that we were at. And you can see they have the view of the valley. So imagine at night laying in that bed, you probably do some stargazing, uh, have some peace. Got a window behind the bed as well. And as you can see, there's uh, two closets in this bedroom, his and hers, him and him, her and her, whatever you choose. And then uh, in the uh, primary bath, which is connected, a little ensuite bath, you've got, again, functional cabinets and mirror, toilet, uh, and a bidet. And then on the other side is a jacuzzi tub. So no shower in the primary bath. However, you, got the, you have a shower down the hall and this is more um, relaxing spa-like setting with a uh, jacuzzi tub. And uh, again, the, the best part about this floor in this bedroom is just uh, the view, direct access to the uh, terrace. So we're back out front of the property. The walkway leads from the garage and the entrance. Uh, again, this whole garden area. Current owners have some statues around and some other ornamental stuff amongst the uh, the plants. But as you can see, it's very lush, perfect for gardening. A lot, of, great variety of flowers here and shrubbery. Great texture in some of the plants. Uh, these bromeliads are gorgeous. A couple of those, those two fronds coming out of those bromeliads. A lot of these other plants are very um, almost endemic or, or just thrive in Puerto Rico. So if you've got a green thumb or not, this might be the perfect property to uh, get out and get your uh, hands dirty. Again, there's the just get oriented. That's the, the view back out towards the valley. And uh, let's go inside. This is the middle floor. Again, about 1,900 square feet, maybe, maybe a little bit more, maybe 2,000 square feet on this floor. Uh, leads us directly into uh, a main hallway there. On the left is a dining room. On the right here, we have basically what uh, I would consider a, a sitting room, formal sitting room on the right to welcome people. And then there's more of a informal living room in the back side there. That overhead beam kind of separates visually the two, uh, two areas from each other. The hallway, again, the uh, dining area. Probably put a little bigger table there if, if need be. It's looking back towards the front door in the sitting room. Uh, this is right off the kitchen. The kitchen actually, of all the rooms in the property, this is the most updated. This is uh, very new. You can see another electric stove there. A uh, lot of cabinet space here, all modern cabinetry, all modern appliances, all tile backsplash and stone countertops. It's basically a brand new, uh, brand new kitchen set up here. Lots of cabinet space. Uh, even more so than the uh, the kitchen we saw upstairs. There you've got the double sink with the uh, under counter sinks hanging there. Again, the electric stove. And probably this has got to be the fanciest refrigerator I've seen in all of Puerto Rico. Uh, there's that screen there 
if you touch on it, um, there's the option of seeing what's in the fridge, a little video of inside so you don't have to open the door. Uh, it's hooked up to Alexa, so you can ask her to pull up recipes or play some music. Um, I asked her to uh, make me some afungo and tostones and had no luck. So, so much for artificial intelligence taking over the world. It's just not happening just yet. Oh, what well, do you know? More arches. People love arches, and this is an arch right in the middle of the uh, informal living room. The formal side, informal side. The front door. Looking back towards the dining room and the kitchen. And from here leads us into the main center hallway. Uh, you can see in the back there, there is a door, so there's two ways of egress on this floor. Looking back through the arch window towards the uh, informal living room. This floor has uh, two bedrooms. Uh, this is the first bedroom on the right. Uh, might look familiar. Uh, it's directly below that one bedroom we saw upstairs. Kind of the same setup with a uh, full slash queen size bed. Uh, closet space, a couple of dressers. Again, no uh, air conditioning. It's not really necessary in this part of Puerto Rico. Uh, instead of a dresser, they've got a nice little sitting chair, the little sofa. Come back out to the hallway. There's the back door around the corner. And what we have here, there you go, that's back towards the front door. What we have here is a uh, combination. In the way back here is a laundry room, ample space for washer and dryer, uh, probably store some linens back here. There's also a freezer there for people that want to go to Costco or Sam's Club. Um, not that far away. The town of Calle is about five minutes away. Caguas is about 10 minutes away. Uh, San Juan's about 45 minutes. Uh, here we have the, the one bathroom on this floor. It's a full bath. Got the mirror, the vanity, and the toilet. This also has a shower. Again, it's all tiled on the, the walls and the floor. So distance-wise, we're also about, I'd say, about 45 minutes to San Juan and probably 45 minutes to Ponce. Not far from the highway that connects um, San Juan, Caguas, and Ponce. Going back out in the hallway uh, is the second of two bedrooms on this floor. So this bedroom's a little bit larger. Uh, that bed is actually high off the ground, so uh, there's kind of an optical illusion here of thinking that perhaps the ceiling's low. It's not. The bed is just uh, high, making the uh, ceiling look a little lower. There's actually a little stepladder there that the owner likes sleeping on a high bed, so there's a little stepladder to get up into bed. This is the window that leads out to the back of the property. You can see some of the palms and other fruit trees back there. So this, this floor is basically the middle floor, but it's at ground level. There is slope to this property, so you've got ground level entrance, both of the front and the back. Another good sized closet there. Uh, this room is a little bit longer uh, than the others. You know, on the other side of the hallway, you basically have the bathroom, laundry, and that bedroom. This kind of takes up that same area. So this is pretty much the primary bedroom on this floor. Good ample space there. There's the first bedroom that we saw. And then it takes us back out towards the living room, the dining room. And we'll head back outside. So we're back out front. Uh, this time we're going to go down over the grass. Uh, imagine this feels great with some bare feet. Back out to the valley to get you oriented. Uh, you can see down below there's some uh, plantain, banana trees, uh, some calabasa, some squash growing there on the floor, on the ground. Uh, some mango trees back there. There's a mature uh, avocado tree back there. Uh, there's some carambola we just passed, which is uh, star fruit. You can see some of these amazing flowers and textured plants that love, just love living up here in the hills. This here is a, uh, a lime tree. Uh, it's already been in bloom. That's a carambola. This is the lime tree, and look at that. You can even see some of the... It's already flowered, so there's some key limes. That's what it is, a key lime tree. Uh, a lot of these trees died off after Maria, so it's great to see one that's actually healthy. And that's that's not a young bush there. So uh, it's got some great, um, great, some great fruit. This is a young avocado tree, probably four or five years old, still a couple years away from bearing fruit. Here we've got a mango tree. Uh, we're taping this in May. So it's all in bloom right now, so they'll have some probably filled with mangoes probably come August. In the back here, a couple more mango trees. Uh, this one here right here in the middle is a panna, panna tree, which is a, a breadfruit, uh, which is delicious for making tostones. 
Uh, that's the flying boy on tree. That'll be bright orange in a couple months. Let's see some uh, hibiscus trees back here. Some other palms. Areca palms. Uh, but we're not here to um, see the, the the trees right now. This is this is a little garden shed in the back, little tool shed. Access from the garden. We're down here on this floor. Is actually we're here to see this uh, lower unit. So there's an apartment down here. This is a cute little, basically a shotgun style apartment. Uh, come inside right into the living room. Uh, like I said, we're taping in May. We're actually just had the King's coronation in uh, in Great Britain. So in honor of uh, King Charles, there you go. There's a little British decor. Enters right into the living room. Uh, again, it's shotgun style. So at this end, we've got a bedroom, probably a twin size bed, full at the max. So bedroom at that end, a uh, little separation between the bedroom and the living room there, visual separation with the uh, furniture. And as we come down here at the end and turn around to give you a better sense, just one long apartment, bedroom, living room, dining room, kitchen, and bathroom. So here we can see a nice little sitting area, the TV, look out the door, you can see the valley. Same thing here at the kitchen table, a little or uh, excuse me, a dining table, a little sitting area, the window, look outside. Uh, and then from here, tiny step up um, into the kitchen. I think, you know, one of the things we haven't talked about is this property could be used as a, uh, I guess, short-term rental, long-term rental, kind of a family compound. It could also be a guest house. Uh, folks could probably, manager could probably live down here and then rent out the stuff above. A lot of options with it being a multi-unit property. Um, this kitchen is actually great for like one person. Um, it's actually more than enough. It's a huge kitchen for one person. There's a gas stove. The uh, stoves upstairs were all electric. Uh, plenty of um, counter space and, and uh, cabinet space for one person, possibly two people living in this apartment. And uh, off the kitchen towards the back is the uh, full bath. So you've got a toilet, a uh, little pedestal sink, and a shower. So there are, you know, a lot of good options with this property. Um, whether you use it as one whole house, a couple, you know, family members live here, but it splits up the floors. Uh, it could turn it into short-term rentals with someone living on site managing the property. Could be turned into like a bed and breakfast, a guest house as well. Uh, tons of square footage here, four or five thousand square feet easily. Uh, we've got the garage out back, which we haven't seen yet, and you've got lots of garden space, kind of some local walking paths. And uh, really the seclusion and quiet that people want when they come up into the hills of Puerto Rico to escape the city or just to have a, a quiet weekend or a, a quiet escape or want to explore the coffee uh, farms that are up here in the hills as well. Looks like we caught the uh, guard dog sleeping on the job here. Kind of sets up and gives you a sense of how relaxing it is here in the hills. This is a great feature. You're probably gonna spend more time out here than anywhere else in the house. Uh, this is an outdoor living room. It's kind of attached to the garage, but you have the great view from up here. Uh, there's a great breeze. I mean, you see the, the plantain banana leaves blowing in the wind, see all the palm trees blowing in the wind. It's very cool up here. It's a great spot just to sit, watch the birds, check out the landscape, read a book. I imagine putting a hammock here would be um, equally in enticing. Uh, it's just a great little sitting area. Sit in the shade. It's nice and cool. Great place to uh, entertain folks. It's, it's got to be my favorite, my favorite spot on the um, on the property. It's very relaxing. Um, again, try to step over the dog so he doesn't bite my ankles. There's the front of the house. I've seen that a couple of times. And then there's the sitting living room area outdoors. And then here's the garage, the two bays. So there's two spots, garage doors, and then there's also a sink in there, uh, you know, if you want to clean up after the garden. So this um, property, if you want to know more about it, please give me a call. Contact me. I'm Bob at PerrySoRealtyPR.com. Love to talk to you about uh, buying the place and uh, ways you might be able to use it yourself.